Hello and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use ease filtered function in Power BI with the help of an example. So before we move into PBI, let's look at the syntax. So I have the Microsoft documentation. So here is a syntax is filtered. It returns true when the column name is being filtered directly. If there is no filter on the column, it returns false. So it's the result is of Boolean type. So we need to give the column name and then we either get true or false. So now let's quickly load the sample data in PBI. So for this exercise, I've created a very small data set. Let me quickly flash it to you. So this is a sample data set, which I just created for the sake of this demo. I have the year and the product and also the sales. So you can see 2016, I have product A and B, 2017 AB and 2020 AB respectively. So what I'm gonna to do is like, I want to compare, let's say current period. So 2020 with other periods. So I want this to be dynamic. And then let's see how we can use the is filtered function in this particular example. So let me load this file to PBI. So, so now I have this data in the PBI. So you can see the column year, product, sales, and now let me quickly move to the reports. So I have a matrix here with a product in the rows, and then I have created a slicer. Just for the sake of time, I kept these things ready. So I have the slicer here with year, and then I have a card which is blank. I don't have anything here, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is, I want to compare the current period, that is 2020, with other periods. Let's say if I want to select 2016, I should be able to see only 2016 here, side by side. So what I'll do is first create a year here first, current year, let me call this as current year. Call this as current year equal to. Let's use a calculate function first, sum of the sales. And I want this for the year, uh, to, let's say 2020, because that's my current year. So year equal to, it's a text, so I'll be using within quotation. So hit enter. So now if I bring this to the values here, I have the current year, okay? It should not get affected by whatever selection I make here. So you can see it's still the current year. Okay, so now I want another year that is comparison year. So what I will do is use another function here, create a new measure. Uh, let's call this as comparison year equal to calculate expression is still the same sum of the sales and the filter so i want this to be applied based on the slicer selection which i do okay so for that reason let me use a filter function here a filter the table sheet and expression i i'll use a selected value here filter sheet by year equal to selected value. The column name here is year. And then hit enter. So now if I bring this to the values here, I don't get anything because I am using a selected value function. But how do users know that they need to select? 
right? We need to tell them, you need to select some value, something like this, you see? When I select 2019, I'm getting the date of 2019. Similarly, when I select 2018, the comparison year is 2018. So, but if they do not select anything, they get blanks. So we should be able to tell the audience or the users, they need to select a particular year, right? So now to tell them that they need to select, let me create one more measure and call this as tell the user or something like that. Tell user equal to. So now let's use is filtered first. Okay. Okay. So the year. So basically, I'll be getting. If I hit enter, this gives me only whether it's uh, true or false. Okay. If it is selected, it'll give me true. If nothing is selected, it gives me false. So now let me use the if condition here. If, okay, is filtered. Okay. C tier. Then let me uh, uh, give some output. Let's say I want the user to see what is selected, selected value of this sheet. Okay. If not, I'll ask the user, please select a year. Year. And then, okay. So now, if I bring this to the card which I created, let me bring it here. So now you can see I haven't selected anything. And that's the reason it's saying, please select a year. And now, let's say I select 2017, it shows us 2017. So to make it more meaningful, let me add something here. Okay, so I will say selected year is then ampersand hit enter. So now you can see Selected year is 2017. Now, if I remove this, it says please select a year, which is more meaningful. So the now user can understand. Okay, if they're not seeing any data, it it throws a message saying please select a year. So if I select this, it says selected year is 2016. This is also like a dynamic title. Okay, so this is how you can use a uh, the function called is filter. So I, again, I can. I will look into this. You can see it's coupled with if condition, if is filtered, whether it's filtered, yes, it's filtered, then it will give me results saying selected year is this, okay? If is filtered is true, selected year is whatever is selected here. If not, it shows a message saying, please select a year. This is how you can use is filtered function coupled with if condition. So this is a short video on this function. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a great day.